Please subscribe mad.com for any query, comment or email. Hello everyone. In our today's lecture, we are going to learn how you can uh, reduce the equation of the form um, that is a of p of x plus b over p of x equals to c to the quadratic equation and then solve it accordingly. Okay. So let's take a start from the example in order to uh, understand the method of solving such equations. So we have an example like 2x square plus 1 plus 3 by 2x square plus 1 equals to 4. Now this is the example and you have to solve this equation uh, by reducing it to the quadratic equation as otherwise it will be uh, it will be a complex method to solve it uh, solve this equation. Okay, so we will again use a substitution method in order to solve this type of equation. Let here as it is clear from here that this value, these terms and these terms are the same as according as according to the uh, uh, type here also the uh, well, uh, the, uh, the terms here will be same. So these terms can be replaced by the, uh, by a single variable so that we can have a simpler equation or we can reduce it to the quadratic form. So let 2x square plus 1 equals to y. Okay, so we have to substitute this value into the equation as y plus 3 by y equals to 4. Okay, so let's take the LCM as y and y square plus 3 equals to 4 then y square plus 3 equals to 4y and y square minus 4y plus 3 equals to 0. Now, we have got an equation that is actually in the standard form of quadratic equation. Okay, so now we can solve this equation uh, 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 for y and then we put the value of y into the this equation so that we can get the value of x. Okay. So, we, uh, uh, so what we will do, we will use factorization method in order to solve this equation method. So, let's solve it out as y square minus 3y minus y plus 3. Now, taking the common factors from the first two terms and the last two terms in y, it will be y minus 3 minus 1 will be y minus 3 equals to 0. y minus 3 is common. Then y minus 3 and y minus 1 equals to 0. Then either y minus 3 equals to 0. Then y is equals to 3. Or y minus 1 equals to 0. And y equals to 1. So these are the two values of y that we will substitute back into the equation 1. So that we can get the value of x. So we will put the values into the equation, uh, into the equation 1 as 2x square plus 1 equals to 3. 2x square equals to 3 minus 1. We will move the 1 on the op on the other side of equality and the sign will change. Then 2x square is equals to 2. x square is equals to 1. As we have uh, divided the 2 on both sides. Then x is equals to, we will take square root on both sides. And we will get x is equals to plus minus 1. Okay. Now we will solve the other one. 2x square plus 1 equals to 1. 2x square equals to 1 minus 1. 2x square equals to 0. So x square equals to 0 or x is equals to 0. So we have got the three roots of this. Um, uh, 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 we have got the three roots of this uh, given equation. So the roots are we write as solution set is equals to will be plus 1, minus 1 and 0. So this is how you can solve the equations of the type in which we will get a polynomial expression or, or, a, um, or, a, fun, or uh, a polynomial expression that is common in the numerator or denominator so that we can simplify the equation uh, by substitution method. Okay. So let's have one more example. Example number 2 is you will be given with the equation as x over x minus 3 plus 4 into x minus 3 divided by x equals to 4. 
Now it is clear by just looking at this equation that x minus 3 and x minus 3 are same in the numerator and denominator. So we can make a simple substitution here by putting x minus 3 equals to y. So this is the equation 1 and we have to put x minus 3 equals to y in equation 2. Okay. So it is x minus 3 equals to y. So what we will substitute instead of x? So we can calculate from here that x will be equals to y plus 3. So where we found the x, we will replace it with y plus 3. And where we found x minus 3, we will replace it with y. So we will write the equation as we will replace the x by y plus 3 and x minus 3 by y plus 4 into x minus 3 will be y and x will be y plus 3 that is equals to 4. Okay, then taking the LCM as y into y plus 3 and it will become y plus 3 into y plus 3 plus will become 4y into y that is equal to 4. We have taken the LCM here. So y plus 3 whole square will be y square plus 6y plus 9 and plus 4y into y will be 4, 4y square. That is equal to 4 into y square plus 3y as we have moved this here. Okay. Further simplifying it, y square plus it y square plus 4y square will be 5y square plus 6y plus 9 equals to 4y square plus 12y. Now we'll move all the terms on the other side of the equality to make it a quadratic equation. So 5y square minus 4y square plus 6y minus 12y plus 9 equals to 0. Then we will have y square minus 6y plus 9 equals to 0. So we have got the quadratic equation with the power 2, with the greatest power 2. So this is the quadratic equation. Now we have to solve this quadratic equation by using a factorization method in order to get the value of y that we will substitute back in the equation 1 to get the value of x. So we we'll write as y square minus 6y plus 9 equals to 0 and as uh, the factors of 9 is 3 3 is are 9 we, I will write as y square minus 3y minus 3y plus 9 equals to 0 taking y as common y minus 3 minus 3 as common y minus 3 equals to 0 then we will get y minus 3 and y minus 3 that is equal to 0 so y minus 3 equals y is equal to 3 so we will get y is equal to 3, only one value of y. So we will put the value of y, this y here in this equation to get the value of x. So we will get the value of x as x minus 3 equals to y. So x minus 3 equals to 3. So x is equal to 3 plus 3 and x is equal to 6. So the value of x will be 6. So this is the basically the solution set. So I'll write the solution set as 6. So this is how you can reduce the equations that are complex otherwise to solve by substitute by making a suitable substitution and reducing them to the uh, to the standard form of the quadratic equation in order to solve them in, uh, uh, solve, uh, in order to solve them by using the easiest methods. Thank you. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe our channel math.com for more updates. Thank you.